Welcome to another episode of Hooked Up Fishing. I'm out here. He's making anything happen today. Getting on the black bass. Had to get a line stretch. So chunky rascal on saltwater bait. Figured I'd break this bait in today. Just got started here after work. Just mucking around. Picked up a little black bass already. Just had to get out and do something because I hadn't been getting bit like I wanted to. So after I got off today, I just came over here and hit this little pond. I'm using that uh, saltwater bait I got from my co-worker. Uh, trout. I forget the name of it. It's a trout something. Support. Got to be some big bass in here. a little while to get here. I may try a crankbait and a few other little things later on. Hopefully there's a bigger bass in here. The heat of the day right now. Pick that up right away. It's three foot of water along the shoreline. And very deep. It's not going to beat that lose, man. No backlash, no matter what kind of lure I put on it. Maybe on that drop off. Fish may be on the drop off from that shallow water to that three feet of water. But I'm gonna try a few different baits out here today. And uh just have me a little fun after work. Torn goes a pretty good little ways up there. Continue to get bit. We need too much downtime. I put a spinner bait on on the way back. ferry landing trip. I know I only do those in uh, Thanksgiving, but I got to thinking about it, and uh, I can put in over there and work cover a lot of water. So I think I'm going to do that Saturday morning. Meet up at Texas City at Lee's Bay Camp at 4.30 in the morning. Get bait and then head to the Galveston Ferryland. So some guys 
guys are interested in doing that with me, just let me know. Oh, Shorty Mac, uh, UPS driver, came over here one day on a Saturday. I was coming to work. I saw him. He put his John boat in. He caught crappie and everything in here. Water's got an old funky color to it. It ain't really clear. I don't mark any fish or see any structure underneath on my fish finder. It ain't very deep either. It's four foot here. I was the center. Got a pretty good wind here today. We got four foot eight, that's it. I heard they used to test something back up in here. I don't know if it was boats or something they used to test on. Couldn't do no hell of a testing as shallow as it is. I just need to get a line pool. It'd be nice to catch a 10 pound bass goofing off over here. That's something to talk about. I'm basically just working that thing, bouncing it along real slow. I didn't have time to get any worms or crawdads or anything like that. So I got some white bass stuff and a few curly tails I can put on a behind a spinnerbait. Marking no fish out in this open water, none. When that bass hit it, that one that I just caught, he just hit it right away. I mean, he wasn't hesitant about playing with it. It's, it is a white lure in this murky water. Visibility may be a factor. Really need a black or purple dark color. That water's got an old murky color to it. Fish finder sand is real shallow over here. Trout support catching black bass. How about that? Trout support lure catching black bass on hooked up fishing. Had hard hitters out here after work just trying to get get my fix. Got a jigging eel in there somewhere. I'm gonna pull it out in a minute too.
pocket here looks real fishy. I'm going to try to see if I can make a cast right up into that. See if I can get bit in there. Almost. fishing this thing hardly seemed like they would be just super active on any bait if I don't get bit here in a minute I'm going to turn this off and pick back up maybe when I find out a bait that they really really want if they're here It's right up in there. See what happens. Get up out of here. Should have got bit if it was a fish there. 